And on the second count, you, Edward Minor Miru and Ruben Vita Mujeroge, you are charged with conspiracy to commit a felony contract to section 3 of the penal code particulars on the 29th day of February 2024 at Gadondia Village, the Bibi location in Ivasha sub county within Akuru County jointly with others not before court conspired to commit a felony, a felony namely malicious damage to barb concrete poles. Fence valued at Kenya shillings 2,543,184 shillings only, the property of Eburu Hills Farm Limited. Mr. Edward, do you plead guilty or no guilty? Not guilty. Ruben Gitua? Equally. Your Honor, I would like to make an application for bond or bail. And before that, Your Honor, I have to put uh, something in perspective uh, concerning the two accused. The two accused were apprehended on 15 March 2024. They have been studied since that date of 15 March. They have also been travelled around uh, to Kajiado for more than three times, Your Honor. Uh, as the charge sheet... Uh, as the charge sheet... Uh, uh, Kajiado and... Uh, the, the, the two have been... Uh, uh, char charged, attempted to be charged in Kajiado. However, yesterday, uh, your sister in Kajiado delivered a ruling uh, that they be charged within Nakuru County. As the charge has been read, uh, that jointly with others, not before court, those others have been charged in Nairobi, Your Honor, we can uh, supply the rulings. Those others have been charged. A list is attached. And you you ask the name of uh, Dev Gichege Mwangi, who has been charged three times uh, in Nairobi. Here, he appears at uh, number 22 on the list. Then uh, on the charge in uh, Kajiado is also listed. And therefore, you, your honor, you, our inference has drawn is that uh, You can see a motive uh, that either is uh, to delay justice for the accused, because uh, justice is two-way to the accused and the complainants also. But uh, now that we are here, uh, Your Honor, we plead with the court to give favorable bond and bail terms, owing to the fact that those 25 of them who are in Nairobi had been uh, given uh, bail of 50,000, which was reviewed to 20,000 on similar charges. Your Honor. Therefore, our plea will be uh, that uh, the two accused persons be admitted on bail of 20,000. We undertake to avail them any time they are needed in court. We let explain to them the purpose of, or import rather, of them availing themselves in court. Because at the end of it all, we want justice. Uh, the first accused is a senior citizen here on. Is also a man of stature in society. The second accused 
is a professional journalist. He runs uh, is a blogger, you know. And therefore, these are credible citizens mm -hmm. of this Republic of Kenya. Uh, also of note, uh, the court should consider the time of, they have spent in, in custody, being huddled between Nakuru, uh, Transcends Nairobi to Kajia. I don't know uh, what the state is trying to prove, but then uh, those all that we have submitted should be put in perspective, Your Honor. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Just add uh, one or two things. Yes. Your Honor, I, I wish to confirm that I have been in the in the journeys with the two accused persons in Kajiado. I have also been in the tribulations with the other 25 persons who are charged in Nairobi despite the fact that the offenses the particulars are the same the offenses occurred in Naivasha or are alleged to have occurred in Naivasha for the 25 I can confirm we secured bail from the uh, your brothers in Nairobi before court number five, before on Rabushikwe, mm. for 40,000 cash bail, 50,000 before on Rabushikwe, and another set uh, before the cases were consolidated, another set of the accused appeared before your brother, on Onyina in court number one, who granted them uh, cash bail of 40,000. Senior, just tell me what uh, Mr. Um, Okum has not said. Yes. Uh, so, so I'm just affirming, Your Honor, there was one accused person uh, in uh, the set of 85, uh, of 25, who is 84 years and was granted a cash bail, I, I mean, a, a personal bond on account of his being a senior citizen. I would urge uh, the same consideration be extended to accused one, Mr. Edward Miner, who is 66 years old. Uh, Your Honor, the other small thing I wish to uh, place on record is that the two accused fear for their safety. These journeys, in, in their view, and with the information they have received in the cells for the period they have been there, is that it is intended to hurt them. They will. They are not sure if they will ever reach home once they leave the courts that are, are distances away from their home. So we wish to place this on record that we fear for their safety. We don't know whether even after they are granted bail they will ever reach home. These are issues that have happened in this country. Your Honor, the last general election, one of the campaign issues was about uh, disappearances and kidnapping of suspects. And they wish to just place it on record that should anything happen to them, the state should be held accountable. As it is, they should never have been in Kajiado, and as it is, Your, your Honor, ordinarily, they should also not be before your court. There are persons who are arrested by the Naivasha police, there is a court in Naivasha, uh, uh, a walking distance from uh, the police station. So even when uh, your sister rejected the charges in Kajiato, surely if these charges were not meant uh, for malicious intentions and for the intention to oppress, nothing could have been easier than to walk them to the nearest police, to the nearest court. Your brother's uh, CM's court in Naivasha. So the question still remains, why are they in Nakuru? They were detained in Naivasha. 
They were woken up from the cells in Naivasha police station. Why are they in Nakuru? So, Your Honor, I think for the record, let the record reflect that we fear for their safety. And if the prosecution can guarantee that they will reach home, we will be more than happy. But as of now, we are not even assured that if you grant them bail, they will reach home. So can we then remand them for their safety? No. What we do? Grant, grant, them, grant them bail and let, because the, 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 the threat is not from uh, ordinary citizens. We are saying the threat is from the state. Grant them bail and uh, direct that the state ensures their safety back home. It is not ordinary people who have been doing, taking them round okay. from, uh, from Naivasha to Kajiado, from Naivasha to Lakun. It is the state. So we would ask that you grant them the uniform terms of bailers in Nairobi, but ask uh, the DPP to ensure their safety, that they return home safe. something about, uh, you asked a question, why are they in Nakuru and not in Naivasha? Exactly. So there is a local... Do I send the file to Naivasha or I proceed? We would be more than happy if you ask that under section 71 of the CPC, they should be in Naivasha. So, you do file Naivasha and Nika, so is it proceeding somewhere? I'm not getting you. Don't so ask. The problem you know, is that we, we, we have already taken three years. So what do I do now? Grant them bail, Your Honor. We will deal with the rest with the High Court. I don't know whether uh, within the counties, I don't know whether the CM's board uh, can uh, transfer files. I've seen it happen in Nairobi where the CM's Milimani can transfer a case to the CM Sport uh, Jomo Kenyatta International Airport and the CM Sport in uh, in Kibera. If within the same county it's possible, you would not need to cross your to to cancel your proceedings. But we would ask uh, that uh, these uh, the next uh, proceedings be taken in Naivasha. Right, I've heard you. We are we are in this That's problem okay. because That's uh, somebody. That's enough. Thank you. Thank That's you, Your Honor. Your Honor, I do not object to the application for bond or reasonable bail terms. However, it is my submission that Kenya shillings 20,000 and 50,000 as proposed by my learned seniors is too low given the nature of the offense and the value of the subject matter. I pray that the court in considering the same grant reasonable bond terms or bail term, taking into account the nature of the offense. However, if Mr. Mbogo is also apprehensive of their safety, perhaps the court can suspend bail at the moment. Okay. Your Honor, as we said, the terms of bail are already uh, they are not uh, from uh, out of the blues. They are the terms given in similar cases. Same terms, the IOA is in court, you can confirm, in Nairobi. But uh, for suspending bail, that is not our prayer. We have not made such an application. <laughs>
view is that uh, there is really nothing that stops us from granting the accused person's bail. And I've considered there's proposals by both parties, uh, both the defense counsel and the prosecutor. The paramount consideration for me is, is to give terms that will ensure or will cover the accused's uh, attendance to court for their trial. So whereas the nature of the offense is um, an issue to be considered, there is also the accused's liberty and their right to be presumed innocent until proven otherwise, which are also important considerations to be taken. So in my view, um, the, the interests should be balanced in a fair manner, and I give the following conditions for bond and bail. So bond 200,000 with one surety of similar amount, or a cash bail of 30,000. As the question of the accused safety has been raised, let the state guarantee that safety. And we are going to take a date for pretrial in court number two. Give me a date in court two. The initial pre-trial was on the 27th of March. No, uh, no documents were approved. So the pre-trial was pushed to the 23rd of May. Therefore? We take up after 23rd of May. For this one. Because the particulars of the judges that we can do are the same. So I don't know what uh, the pre-trial we would rather we do the pre-trial in the only past, then uh, this one follows. Give me a date towards the end of April. Yes? 29. <laughs> Make sure the amended charge sheet is the one on the record. Eh? Sugar. 